Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Excel Intermediate Class. I am your host and instructor, Ruben Herrera. And on this video, we're gonna learn how to subtotal uh, spreadsheets in our uh, in Excel. Uh, subtotal, I'm always called this like that little sister or the little brother of pivot tables. On this report right here, we have a medical testing facility that is doing business with some hospitals, you know, and uh, what we want to do, we like to subtotal or we'd like to know the totals for uh, each of these hospitals, each of these entities that we do business with. But I like to know not that like I like to know the totals, not by institution individually, but by the institution as a whole, by each group of institution. For example, in this case, I want to know the total hospital sales that we're doing with all the locations that we have at Methodist Hospital. I want to know the total hospital sales that we have with, with all the JPS locations we have. Same things with the Parkland hospitals and Baylor hospitals. So what we want to do, I can, I guess I can add filters in here, like we already know, I turn this into a table, add a total row, you know, but if tables are not your thing, we can also subtotal this report. Okay, so to subtotal this report, the number thing that we have to do, my friends, is to decide which will be the criteria or what kind of group or what do we want to subtotal our reports by okay in this case I, I like to subtotal my report by the hospital or by hospital entity so what I'm gonna do you're gonna find that column right there oh by the way if it's not the hospital it can be anything else but it has to have repetitive data that you can group for example we can also do this by region OK, but we cannot do this by date unless we have a date, a bunch of uh, dates that are the same. But these are all unique. The location ID is also unique, so we cannot do it by location ID. So on this case, our criteria will have to be something that is repetitive throughout through our all of our report. So, for example, I'm, I decided that I want to subtotal my hospital sales by hospital. So what I'm going to do. The first thing I have to do is I'm going to select right here one cell within the column that I want to use as a criteria to subtotal uh, my report and I'm going to sort this by alphabetical order. Why do I want to sort this? Well, let me show you my friends. I'm going to click right here on data and I'm going to click right here on this little on this little A to C sort. Well, first of all, I'm going to select right here one cell from this column right here. Then I'm going to select this right here. Very nice. Notice that I sort right here now my locations or my organization, you know, in alphabetical order. And what this does is that also forces Excel to group, to group all my different locations by entity or by organizations. And this is also preparing or prepping um, my information to be subtotal. Now, after I do this, and this is a very important step, after I do this, now the next thing I'm going to do, and now I can I can keep my, my cell right here selected on, on any cell within my range of data in here. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go right here on the data tab. I'm going to click right here on subtotal right here. Here it is, subtotal. Very nice. Now, here on this dialog box right here, this is a little bit misleading in a way, but it's easier to understand what, once we we get accustomed to this. It says say it says right here at each range in hospital. So that means this right here is for us to select the criteria that we are gonna use to subtotal our spreadsheet. Okay? At each hospital criteria, at each hospital group, I wanna do the function some, but I also have other functions that I can do with. I can do count, average, maximum, minimum, but I'm going to select some. And what I want to sum is actually on the range right here 
on the hospital cells, what I want to arrange. So once again, at each, my criteria, at each change in hospital, or my criteria in hospital, I want to sum all the hospital cells. These right here, my friends, I'm going to leave this the way they are. I don't have to change anything in here. And I'm going to click right here on OK. Boom, very nice. You see what happened now? Now I have this report subtotal by entity. I'm going to double click in here. There you go. Very nice. I have now all the totals for Baylor Hospital, all the totals for JPS Hospital, the other hospital right here, Parkland, and right here, the grand total for all the hospitals. Also, my friends, right here, I have these little buttons right here that are called expanding and collapsing buttons. So I can also expand and collapse information and I can just concentrate on the totals or I can just concentrate on the entities or organizations that I want to concentrate with. And I also have right here these buttons right here at the top. These are called the level buttons. These level buttons right here, they actually condense and collapse all this information by levels very nice okay but what if i don't i don't now i don't want to subtotal this anymore i mean it, there could be a reason why so if i don't want to subtotal this anymore well i can just close my spreadsheet and don't save my changes or i can just click on do on do on do on do but what if you were given this report already like this if you want to unsubtotal your report very simple what you have to do my friends is click anywhere right here on your report click on subtotal now on the dialog box all you have to do is click right here on this button that says remove all and that will put your spreadsheet or your report back the way it was before you subtotal it well and bef and after you uh, sort your criteria column and this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you guys in our next lesson. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.